Welcome to this short video on finding the sources of DNS traffic on your network. My name is Darren Delaney from Netforge. Before I take a look at finding the source of DNS traffic, I just want to explain how we can capture it from a network. Now on my network I've got a core switch, it happens to be Cisco, and I'm using a feature called a span port, and that allows me to take a copy of traffic, in my case from my internet gateway, any data that's coming in and out there, I'm sending a copy of that to the monitoring or the spam port and I've my LAN guardian connected up to that. Uh, the span or the mirror session will allow you to monitor internal servers as well so it's an excellent way of getting network visibility. Now if you've got Dell or HP or Brocade or Extreme switches or whatever uh, check your documentation it'll be called a mirror port or a span port and if it's a managed switch it will have one of those features. Okay, let's take a deep dive into the DNS traffic and let's see if we can find the source. So I'm logged on to my LangGuardian here. I have it running, on, as I said, on the network. Probably the easiest way is to go straight to the management dashboard here, management summary dashboard. We've got the top applications or top protocols on the network. Uh, if you extend that report, click in the arrow here, you'll see a list of all applications running. The one I'm interested in, of course, is the DNS traffic. So I can click on the volume here to find out where is this traf DNS traffic originating from. Now I've got a lot of both local and external addresses. I'm interested because of a security problem. I want to find out the local um, clients that are generating DNS traffic. And I actually have a, a filter already set up called LAN. You can add this under the customized section here. I won't go into right now, but you basically add a subnet and give it a name. I call mine LAN, which is my local subnet. And let's drill down, or let's filter based on that. So I've got six clients generating DNS traffic. One in particular is of interest because it's generating a lot more than the rest of them. And we can take a look at that. Now the significant thing with the LangGuardian approach is it's doing application recognition. So Yes, DNS is a, runs over its UDP protocol, and it typically use port 453. But if it's using some other port, if somebody's configured something crazy, because it's it's looking at the content of the payloads of packets, it's able to identify DNS traffic that may not be on port 53. So it's much more reliable, a lot more accurate than things like NetFlow. So what do we know? We can see our client here. It's using this D, these DNS servers. As far as I remember, they're Google DNS servers and you have sent and received data. So that's a very quick way of finding out where are the sources of DNS traffic on your network. You can see what are the local sources or even sources of traffic outside of your network. Simply just drill down in DNS traffic, find the source, and then if it's a security problem, you can track that machine in your network. Uh, we've got Active Directory integration as well. I can get the username, so I can get that machine off and get it checked out because maybe it's a DDoS part of a botnet or something. If you want to try it out, this out yourself, if you go to our website, uh, netfort.com, you can download a free trial of LangGuardian and get it installed and you'll find the source of DNS within minutes.